Hey guys, Mr. Kerfuffles here. Welcome to uh, something I've been waiting to play. And depending on when you're seeing this, well, for me, it would be Christmas Eve still. But for everyone else, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and soon enough, Happy New Year. If you're watching this in January, Happy New Year. Um, but this is a mod that I and... Tons of other people have been waiting to play, waiting for its release, and you're not seeing this wrong. You're not seeing this wrong. It is Mario's Madness V2. This came out two days ago, by the time I'm recording this. It came out on the 22nd, and I was like, no, there's no, there's no way. I'm looking at my phone, and I'm seeing there's no way that it's already out. So, I give it a while. I wanted to wait until the next day. It was true. It, it was true. I've been seeing several other people actually playing the game. This ain't no joke. Okay. At least I got my controls right. Okay. You know me, I gotta have it. Eh, streamer mode. Can be annoying when playing. If you're a streamer or if you're recording this game, recommend you to activate this option. Alright. Well, let's just do a... Maximize the screen. Because I don't know if full screening is gonna be... Uh janky or not, because sometimes mods can be a bit jank when it comes to doing full screen. I say that because some of the other mods, when I was testing uh, how it would be, it kind of uh, makes a duplicate screen of the game. And I look at my OBS and I see that there's another screen of my game at top left. Oh, come on, in Among Us already? No. Slam that door right in his face, thank you. Of course, here we go. The typical creepypasta... Um... Uh, game obtaining jo uh, trope and the controller even disconnected. How is he playing if the controller is disconnected? It, did anyone else not see that? It disconnected! Okay, okay, he doesn't know that little joke or little uh, trick right there. The fuck? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, nothing's going on with the game, and immediately gets pulled right in. Uh. Oh. Alright, alright. Let me actually try... Oh, okay, okay. I just want to test the waters with this. Okay, she's all right. Hey, Mario. Oh, you're looking for someone? Seems you don't recognize me. <laughs> it's -a me, Mario. Almost. Almost. You're a bit scared. Well, don't be. I'm not gonna kill you yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just stand back, babe. I got this. <laughs> she just had that look on her. <laughs> he's not am he's not amused. He's not impressed. <laughs> oh, don't bother using your powers. They're useless here. This is 
my world. Oh, oh, oh you gonna pay for what that traitor of a man you call a father did to me all those years ago. Traitor? You, on the other hand, traitor. I've heard so many stories about you. You defeated lots of creatures, some like myself. Okay. Monsters, demons, angels, freaks. So, how's about we make a deal? Three songs, just three. Beat me, and I'll let you go. Lose, and you'll perish by my hand. We all know what's gonna happen. He's gonna take the pop, take up the offer. Very well. Let's go. It's a go time! <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's just funny. this already Poison mushrooms are back. Oh, shit! Did not want that to happen. twice for a second. I didn't miss any notes at first, but the moment I, I get my control or my game back, it gave me a few and then more oh, on the second so one. Fun. How's about that we take things up a notch? Hmm. 
this has been a mod I've been waiting to see be released for so long. And it's worth the wait. It was definitely worth it. Starman Slaughter. Looks like Peach's castle in the back, along with the POW. Ah. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty clever. This is really turning out to be a banger of a song. This mod actually shows the credits and a description. Wow. Out of all the other mods I've seen and played, so far this is the only one that does it. Pretty good. He claims to be having fun, but he has brought you to an even more intense location. You were lucky to survive the first round, but now you will need a miracle. This is only the beginning. Ah, oh, Paratroopa's joining me as well. What the hell? Huh? Oh, Yoshi! What the hell? Yoshi? And... What do you mean, I swear that sounds like the peach from Coronation Day. mod is really hitting hard, oh my god. This part especially, god damn. No joke, this, this is just too impressive. Oh shit, there they go. That was a very, 
That was a very impressive song. I goddamn love it. For having this be over, what, a year? A year, I want to say? This has been quite the impressive mod for an update. Oh, man. So, they found the warp star. Which means, eventually, they'll stumble across the others. <laughs> but don't the worry. But you'll get your next time. Hmm. Welcome to the Overworld. It seems like you've wandered far from here into a new world. The only way to leave? Well... There is... One way. That's you have- that is, you have to press on. And beat the entourage of Mario's fiendish friends he's set out to get you. Good luck. You'll need it, boyfriend. Five stars. Five different worlds. Irregularity? What, irregularities? Hmm? Probably things that actually happened, I want to say. Nintendo Direct? Hmm. Wonder what's going to be shown. Let's see. Is Mario Wait. Who will be played by Chris Pratt? Oh God, this a Mario. <laughs> okay. Let's see the description. Oh boy, it's it's an actual tweet from Chris Pratt. I want to say. I don't even have Twitter, but I want to guess that it is. Y'all don't even know what you're about to see. This is not a bigger Mario fan than myself. Ten-year-old me would flip my turtle if I knew I'd grown up, or I'd grow up to voice this character at Super Mario Movie. Hashtag Super Mario Movie. The Jurassic Park guy. German 
A warp pipe? Hmm. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, check it out. Wait. Granddad! Granddad! Oh god. Nourishing blood. <laughs> Just looking at boyfriend and girlfriend, they look goofy. <laughs> oh my god. What the? Bob Ross! Bob Ross! Buff Luigi, bro, what the fuck? I see Kermit, I see the Ghostbusters logo, Bonzi Buddy. But who's that underneath the uh, Kermit? I don't know who that is. Flintstones? When Jules started playing bootleg Mario games, he never expected to encounter one of the strangest characters he had ever seen. Upon opening a bootleg Flintstones game, Joe expresses one of the most intense and iconic reactions of his streaming career. Who's been drawing dicks? Who's been drawing dicks? Who's been drawing dicks? Seriously, who is that character, uh... Below Kermit. I've never seen that one before. I don't know who that is. Someone please tell me. I've seen Joel's videos before, but I just don't know who that is for the life of me. Wait. An abomination of Hummer Team. The premise of their game, Somari, consisted in a recreation of Sonic the Hedgehog for NES, replacing the main character with Mario, ending up being a game very criticized for its awful gameplay and level design. And yet there's also a Eevee and what looks like a Pikachu. And if I want to guess correctly, girlfriend is Pikachu. That or Eevee. Nope, definitely the Pikachu. Wait. Girlfriend's TV.
This song is really good. Especially the Nourishing Blood. I really love that one the most. Oh my god. You know, even though we are playing a Game Boy Advance, I really do miss playing on my Game Boy. I still have it, though. I still got my Silver Game Boy. I still got it. But I've just been playing more on my Switch more often because... Oh, we all know how t Nintendo is. <laughs> Thank you, game, for crashing on me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for crashing. Yes. I already have a star? Okay. Um... Alright. Well, let's, uh... Let's check out the next song, then. I'll just keep my screen like this. <laughs> Alone. On a quest to rescue his brother Mario from the evil King Boo, Luigi did not have the courage to move forward and ran out of time, leaving his brother trapped inside of a painting forever. Luigi can do nothing more but, ex but except mourn over the loss of his brother. Obviously, I'm also going to be honest, I never played a single Luigi's Mansion game, except for Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. That's the only one for the 3DS. That, that, that right there is the only one I've ever played. And it was my brother's. Oh my god, I... I did enjoy it. I did like it. It was fun. But I really wish that I did play the other Luigi's Mansion games. I really did. But never, ever gotten to have a chance. I mean, now the only way I think I could is emulation.
this is really a very good song right here. God damn. Oh, they're actually singing. On oh, the end, they called out for each other. Oh my god. I do love Luigi's Mansion. I've seen gameplay of it, but I always wanted to play it, and the music is just so good. Especially playing alone, that was just a banger. Oh my god. And when Mario comes out, they start singing, and oh my god, it really hits hard. I'm just at a loss for words with this mod. It's it's just too good! It's just too good! It was definitely worth the wait, I'll give it that, it's worth- it was worth the wait entirely! It's I Hate You. you <laughs> oh god, no.
You know, I always gotta check the descriptions on these songs. Mario enters Koopa's fortress to defeat him once again, but the further in he ventures, strange events and occurrences transpire. Feeling uneasy, Mario steps through the final door to encounter... Luigi? He reveals that he has been allied with Koopa for years out of spite for existing in Mario's shadow. Standing high over the heat of a lot lake of lava, the two brothers fight to the death. And if I know anything, I know that version 1's uh, songs, they, they have to be in this. <laughs> like, in like a new coat of paint, like everything remastered and remade. Like, just too good to be true. Just too fucking good. What? The F start now? Okay. Oh, she has the fire flower and boyfriend has the cape power up. Okay. I hate you. Mm hmm. Mario never expected Koopa to have an accomplice, much less that accomplice being his own brother, who, after a grueling the battle of fraternity, is left horribly disfigured by the lava he was thrown into. Expected, but um, that certainly was something. More water. I wonder what it could be. Huh? L is real. Oh my god. Th Thalassophobia. Obviously, first that. Um, legend says that the fountain in the courtyard of Princess Peach's castle is the key in one of gaming's most discussed mysteries. 
As it turns out, Luigi was always there, trapped in the fountain, but something is preventing his escape, holding him deep beneath the fountain. <coughs> that was one. Two, I want to make sure if I'm correct on what I said. Uh, let's see. Thalassophobia. That... Oh! Okay, I thought it was a fear of drowning. No, it's a fear of deep waters. Okay. I may have gotten those two mixed up. Wait a minute, that's a boat. I only know one Mario World that has that boat. That's... Oh. Wait a second. How can the fountain lead there? think of one thing that can be down there. Just one. Yep. Right there. The eel. It's the eel. Got him. Do excuse me for a moment, everyone. Alright, let's carry on. Our next song. Let's see. Apparition. Super Mario 64 is subject to an urban legend that being the personalization of every copy, the game will change and adapt to suit its player, and there have been many who claim to see new characters, small changes, new maps, 
and even strange creatures, like a Wario head who will chase you until the very end. Oh, you want fun? Wario show you fun. You want fun? Wario show you fun. I do remember that from the original. Oh, well, from basically watching videos about the personalization. That by far from version one is my favorite song. That and Coronation Day from version one. Apparition Coronation Day. Definitely both of those. Uh last course. Why does he have those big beady eyes? He has those big beady eyes. <clears throat> what the fuck is that thing? Turmoil? Hmm. A corrupted mushroom once sauntered these woods. Mario, unknowing of the consequence, crossed its path. Rumor has it the disturbed amalgam preys on the creatures here. And you're just in time for the last course. Also, do excuse me for a moment. Cat wants inside. Okay. I also gotta let the boy in, otherwise he starts clawing at the door. Constantly. Here, let him. Come here. Come here. Come on, buddy. Up, up. I'm gonna help you up. My poor child. He could have easily jumped up to me, but he didn't. He first tried going for the tower. But I want to have it blocked off because I don't want you constantly jumping up on it. I what the? <laughs> Pretty sure I had my keys or my. Fingers on the right keys. If not, then I'm not sure what happened.
I think I may have found uh, a second favorite song besides Nourishing Blood. Last Course. That song hits hard. Actually, no, third. Because Nourishing Blood, Alone, then Last Course. I want to have at least a top five favorite songs on this mod. I at least want five favorites. So this is Dark Forest, Coronation Day. One of the most mysterious ROM hacks of the SMW Central, Super Mario World Central. The, or better known as the Coronation Day, warps the characters and world of Super Mario World to tell an intriguing and creepy story. Peach being a character deformed to such an extent that her mere presence in the hack, or in the hack ROM, is to be feared. Eh, actually, yeah, I have seen videos about uh, Coronation Day, and yeah, it, it pretty much sums it up. And of course, the dead Mario building the house or crashed through it. Because you can literally see the whole group. escape will give us a warp pipe back to the aisle, or back to the overworld. Buddy, can you please stop? Just stop, okay? I love you, but it hurts. Seriously, that hurt right there. You kept, you went for my jaw! Mario? Bad day. Have you ever wondered why there are funny falls all over the internet? Well, this was all done by Mario, who for years has bothered people all over the world to cause these hilarious moments. 
super bad Mario. I gotta take a look at that. Let's go! Now the actual uh, poison mushroom from the Super Mario World games. I know that's something Mario would say in, uh, well, let's say either two or three. Yeah, because he did do the gotcha! And that was funny. That's enough girlfriend said like that. This is definitely number four. Dancing. Ah, oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, Mamma Mia. Now, I know he does that because I have played some Super Mario World before. Game Boy and the emulator on the Switch. <sighs> Good times playing those games. Especially the Game Boy version. Gonna tell Mom I was Hot diggity demon! Oh, Luigi's day out! Man. Mario's yeah, day I'm out! Anyway, just keep your mouth no, I think it was Luigi. Like, here come the guys. Okay. Which one was it? Luigi's Day Out. Okay. I do love the animation, though. This video was pretty hilarious. The plans of a young rebellious Mario were thwarted when his mother asked him to take his brother with him. Being quite childish and gullible, barely in his 30s, now he is forced to hang out with his friends, accompanied by his unbearable geek brother.
dumbass geek. to get peach out of Bowser's shit hole, but I'm probably gonna blow it off. I don't give enough of a fuck today. You wanna jump the fence at the country club and use the pool? Oh, uh, we did that two days ago. Beep, oh, Cody's a piece of shit. I am so tired of that asshole. You know, even though that the, uh, that both Mario and Luigi were spot on from the animation, boyfriend and girlfriend looked like the same. That hot diggity demon just made them in the same animation. It looks like it. it. It does look like it. We did what you said, Mario. But whoever done it, sucks. fantastic job. Done. Just the game was a much fantastic job. Thought, boyfriend. You think I don't know about the merchandise? You tried to fuck me. Hold on. I know I've seen art style like that. I know I've seen someone with an animation like that. Uh, if I want to be right... Um, I... Okay, yeah, Mashed. I haven't seen Mashed's um, Secret History series with Mario. I've mainly seen, like, the Sonic animations. And it just kind of gives it away, but I completely forgot who it was. I forgot the name. I was trying to remember. I'm just thinking about all these other different anima animation channels. And I can barely think because of this mod. It it's just so... It's, it's too much. Anyways, we know who Mario is. Or do we? In Secret Histories, we show the true faces of some characters who are seen as heroes, but in reality, hide secrets that you would never imagine. Mario doesn't like competition and wanting to continue with his monopoly, he won't mind killing people to achieve his goal. Goodbye, old friend. I know I hit that. We did what you said, Mario. The Kickstarter sucked. The team's done. The game wasn't much more popular than people thought, boyfriend. You think I don't know about the merchandise? You tried to fuck me. <laughs>
Okay. Oh, 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 wait, it's, it's not done yet. We still got more bullet bills. Crap. And that takes like, what, half my health? So even if we lose, or if we complete the song, he still blows us up. Also, I, I just want to turn off the... I, I know it might be a bit drastic. Oh, new backgrounds. Oh shit. Ah. Change parameters when playing. Honestly, I don't care at this point. I couldn't care at this point. <clears throat> I'm just gonna turn that off. I wanna see if it makes any kind of a difference. I want to see if there's a difference between having it on and not having it on. Ah, oh, Racist Mario! Yeah, race traders. Flash gets racist Mario. Mario doesn't like video game characters from other consoles, especially in his races. He begins murdering everybody else partaking in the race, where his colleagues invite characters from PlayStation and Sega and Newgrounds, apparently. <laughs>
<laughs> Kratos just ramming into him like that. Oh my god. <laughs> Now, what could this be? Uh... Mario? No hope. Power Star by D-Sun? I don't think I've seen that. Uh... Okay, background... background looks amazing. All sinister like with all the towers. Yeah, that, it looks nice. But under the control of booze, Mario has gone mad with power, taking up the aid of a sharp blade. He's begun cutting down every individual who crosses him with the goal of obtaining one thing the power stars. He will stop at nothing, killing the princess and even his own brother. You're next. Like a Saiyan. What the fuck? My god damn, that was some uh, energy charge right there. God damn. Okay, I think I may have something for my fifth favorite song, goddamn. Alright, let's carry on. But yet, yeah, No Hope is definitely a good choice for my fifth favorite. Or may take over one of the others. Hellish Heights. Hmm. Okay. What? No, no! What's right there? Insist. Oh, Golden Land.
forgot that that happened. It's been months since I've played the first, uh, first number one. One on the left, one on the right. Okay. Right. Yes. I choose to go right at... What? Mario Party? I never really played Mario Party DS before, but Mario Party in general I have played. Host Hoedown. Trace your apologies on the touchscreen before DJ Halibu attacks, but beware he won't go easy on you. Oh, gee, great. Hmm. Can I go full screen? No. Absolutely not. It is... It is not possible for me to go full screen. Wonderful. DJ Halibu is upset. The secret host of Mario Party DS. He takes it personally when he finds out his players haven't even paid for the game. Notoriously quick to exact his revenge, your best option is to probably apologize. But be hasty, because he won't give you all day. Good luck, boyfriend. Oh boy, I gotta trace out apologies.
Not my best attempt at this song, but at least, uh... The screen's back to normal. But why can't I maximize my screen then? Important, if you're recording, we recommend you record your entire screen. Oh, boy. Well, I'm already doing that now. Sure, go ahead. Just go ahead. Paranoia. Waiting within his Virtual Boy cons. Oh my god, the Virtual Boy. Wow. Mr. Virtual waits for his next victim to appear for he can then warp their mind to insanity. Little did he know his victim would be a blue-haired boy led here followed by the disappearance of his girlfriend. Wonderful. <laughs> Something that's moving me the route. I know it's Sonic the EXE mod did that. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Oh! Oh! Too late. Back at that is, I'm in your head. Okay. Background gonna be stuck like that or okay, thank you. 
I was wondering if it was gonna be stuck like that. Alright then, that was definitely something. I know a Sonic EXE mod can do the same of using your whole screen for the game, along with moving the window around, but damn, this really took it up a notch. Like, a big amount. Pico's now involved with this, great. Six already? What? Hold on, hold on. Let me try bringing it back up to full screen. I don't know how I already missed six already from that first pause. I was doing pretty good. Let me also take a look at the description. After being mistakenly thrown into a pit of lava by his own brother, Luigi's vengeful spirit has returned with his own omnipotence and reality-bending powers. He wreaks havoc on the Mushroom Kingdom and its inhabitants. After killing Mario in the same way he was killed, he plans on giving you the same treatment. Whoa, 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 what? Pico didn't... Why Pico, though? He just got in there... Why?
certainly something. And from Pico back up to boyfriend. This is definitely by far another candidate for my fifth favorite. Or to overtake one of the others. Oh, man. Ooh! Oh, I know this. Wait. down. Upon reaching the end of 1-1, one, one, you find Mario? Yep, MX. <clears throat> and do excuse me one more time. Alright, my apologies for that. Let's continue on. Ten right away on this. Girlfriend getting ripped up in half like that. Oh, God. Not what I was expecting to see. Just not what I was expecting. Run. Demise. MX has brutally murdered your girlfriend, but you don't have time to think about that. You have a choice. Run or suffer the same fate as her.
girlfriend's actually alive. Thank worry. God. Why are you like throwing them? Did she let go? Why'd she let go of him? Why? Last area classified castle. Let's do this. Oh boy. Oh, uh, hey, Paisanos. My name's Mario. Hey, my Paisano. Now you may be wondering. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, who are these guys again? <laughs> Sorry, who are these guys again? Uh, anyways, Just the way he said it's you and your funny. arrived at a very crucial moment. Say, how would you still like to be a part of the new Nintendo Mania's first episode, huh? Nintendo Mania? <laughs> Just see my brows. That's the attitude. Let's get her rolling. I liked girlfriend's expression there, just... Just a shrug. Emotion! You find yourself face to face with a seemingly familiar Mario, a friendly Mario, the host of a new show, Nintendo Mania. Here we represent Nintendo's hottest new video game releases, and it's presenting Super Mario 64 in the first installment. His brother Luigi stands in for him in the game while, while he conducts his presentation. But as things begin to go wrong for Luigi, this seemingly friendly Mario shows off his not so friendly side. Based on Greenio's M64 or SM64 classified. Now that's something I need to check out. There's Luigi. I'm looking at you, kitty. I can see you. Oh, what the hell? Um. Uh. Mario, you good? Oh. Hold on. Okay. Uh, now you've seen their true suffering. Based on... Oh. Promo show 9-14-96. Okay, dokey. I guess the description can change at times. Hmm. Well, that's convenient. Hey, hey, Peach.
you know, I also felt like doing this because, well, I've been waiting for this mod, and it's really been holding me back on playing this until now. So, so far, I'm, I'm just enjoying the living hell out of it. It was definitely worth the wait entirely. It was worth the wait. Uh, you never listen. It hurts. I'm not having fun. Leave. 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 Just a whole bunch of leave. Abandoned. see abandoned. Mario is nowhere to be seen after blacking out, and you find yourself in wet dry world in front of a strange statue, and a floating, bloodied Luigi. Oh, we're in SM64 graphics now. Sweet! Nice. Very interesting. Oh man, I'm really having a hard time choosing what my fifth favorite should be. Next song? Start. The end, grand prize, and Mario is not himself. The end. No description, just three dots.
Oh shit, he has girlfriend. And he has a knife as well. Crap. This ain't good, this ain't good. The end is here. The end comes for us all. Will you be able to save yourself and your girlfriend from your imminent doom? What? Um... Okay. Uh... Uh, and the pipe's gone. Mm. Mm. Let's do this. This should be the last song. Our freedom. Well done. Very well done. I must say, I am impressed. Thanks. You're a long way from home, aren't you? Yep. Tell me, why do you persist? Because I want to leave. No matter. All good things must come to an end. You broke our little deal. Nope. And I can't let that slide. How did I break the deal? <laughs> hmm? And you fell right Because I fell into, into the warp hands, star? Thinking your path was clear, goalpost in sight. But no. Tell me, do you know what all of the creatures down there have in common? They're all in my game. They all belong to me. The last song. Let's do this. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> hey, girlfriend. Start now. Okay, it's buffering. Okay, it's gonna take a while. Yep, oh, there we go. Happy? Wait, we're in New Donk City.
won't keep you waiting any longer. Welcome to the end. to see him. And there's uh, Yoshi again. Okay. Looking horrifying and grotesque as ever. And Wario is flexing on us. Yeah, she's gone. This, this is amazing.
This is getting intense. Game over. That... That's it? Um... Number one favorite. I, by far. That takes first place. That takes first place in my top five favorites. That song alone? By far favorite. It beats everything. It tops everything. Oh my god. Holy hell. <laughs> nice quote there, Lima. Oh my god, I really love this game. I, I love the mod. I love it. I love it entirely. And they're playing dominoes. <laughs> Being cheeky about it. <laughs> His fucking face! God damn it! <laughs> That face, man, come on. Oh, her prop is 15 bucks. Nice. <laughs> oh, God. The stage is set, but hard players have all gone home. There are three Marios and a trench coat. Well, two Marios and a Luigi. Or Mario and two Luigi's in a trench coat. Not sure which one it is. A 3.5? Did I just see that right? Hold on. Okay, fine, it did release, but only because I roasted their asses to a thousand people. Oh, in front of thousands of people. Okay, the Pikachu was boyfriend, actually. Okay. That, the end, oh my god. Oh man. If there was ever going to be anything more to it, then that is really going to make me curious. Because Pico is now the only one alive while he is trapped in this game, this hell. Thank you for beating the mod. Something new has unlocked in Hellish Heights. They are waiting for you. Uh, 
uh, made sprites for Yosh, Secret History Mario, Boyfriend, and All Stars Act 2. Nice. Hey yo, me Epoch Animator, yee yee. Um, I made a reanimated BF with extra poses unique for this mod. I also made the Apparition Running at BF and the Oh God No Luigi. I also remember doing some concepts for the or for some other things, but I can't really tell since they were just small ideas or such. I hope y'all liked our mod, because this mod is epic, the devs are epic, everything here is epic. The fucking game, the mod entirely, it was badass. It is by far one of my most favorite mods now. Next to Hollow Funk and Doki Doki Takeover Plus. I really wish that more of these creepypasta mods were this impressive and just mind blowing. But with how things are, Sonic EXE got completely fucked up. Mistful Crimson Morning, that's gone. Hypno, Hypno's Lullaby, that used to be gone, but now there's a revival. That's great. But this, Mario's Madness, it doesn't get taken down. It's not going to be a simple one and done. No, these people, these devs, they're doing an amazing job. Holy shit. It, I really do hope they keep doing this stuff because this is by far amazing. This is an amazing job they've done. <coughs> uh, made a majority of the mods, shaders, as well as the scrap DS bios. The Mario Party DS intro, very nice job there. And helped with a lot of window ma manipulation code like the ones used in Paranoia. God damn! Um, hi, I'm Lava, Dusky Y, proud owner of Alps 1993, color me, Mario plush toy, uh, follow me on Twitter and draw my Sona, face my groove is Storm. Ah, Sandy. Um, I contributed in like six songs for this mod and made lots of concepts. This mod was one of the best I've ever been on. Haters will hate. True. And I will go on because I hate y'all of you. All of you! You all make my blood boil! And yeah, I can definitely see why. Never give up. Trust your instincts. Hmm. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, where are you? Made half of Thalassophobia. I ex and I exist. That's about it. Okay. The soup's not hot. <laughs> <laughs> Lemonade. Here we go. Hi, I did charts. Charting funny. The devs of this mod are very cool and awesome, and some of the most talented motherfuckers I know. I hope all of you enjoyed playing this mod as much as we did making it. I loved it to hell and back. This by far? One of my most favorite uh, creepypasta mods. God damn. Just, it, it's so good. This video is super important uh, and watch it all the way through for a massive MM version 3.5? No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> that has to be a Rick roll. There's no way. There's no way. Uh, read Seraph 5's theory on Gongus releasing May 17th. I will not be standing for the Super Samari slander in the in the MSAGRG description it is vile and I demand a refund for my Mario's Madness immediately. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Damn, I forgot I was here for a hot minute. <laughs> Mood. I can feel the same way. Like, 
Oh, damn, I forgot I was here. I can be like that too at times. Because, oh shit, I forgot I was here. Uh, commercial guy in the first V2 trailer made a concept for the menu, didn't do too much on interact or interact with the dev team of 10, but I, get to, but I did get to stick around and watch everything flourish. Everyone's work was amazing. The devs of this mod were very creative and talented with their work. Thank you for playing. Again, thank the mods. The mods were the ones who made this amazing mod. Honestly, I really would love to see more. I'm not gonna lie. What what these mods did, or what these devs did to make this mod happen, please keep up the good work. Just keep up that amazing work. Don't back down because someone on Twitter is trying to get in the way of you trying to make a mod that you desire to create. If you want to make a mod, make it. No matter what it can be. Whether you want it to be a impressive high story rich uh, mod filled with tons of songs like this do it get the team you need and make it happen it may take time only until the end will it be truly worth it you just gotta make sure everything is all good Keep up with everyone in the team, make sure everything's all right. But do whatever you can. Do whatever inspires you. This is unbeatable. We are Nintendo, Ultimate TV Game Station. We challenge all players. You cannot beat us. This must be an actual thing. I, I feel like this would be a very, a very weird commercial or something. Like back in what 90s, 80s when the NES came out. I want to say 90s. Or was it way earlier, like 70s? I, I'm not sure when. Someone please help me out if you know where this is supposed to be from. Getting interesting. Uh, why do I hear what sounds like a dial-up?
Sapper. Stuck on. Okay, now we're going back to the middle. Bowser. We got bullet builds coming in now. first guy
You wanna bet I can't beat you? Yes, and from the looks of it, BF has lost everything. Extras? Extra songs? Huh. And Legacy? It's a me, Golden Land, I Hate You, Power Down, Apparition. That's new. Never seen that one. Alone and race traitors. I want to go from right to left. I know it's better to do left to right, but I just felt I just feel like doing this. So let's see. Uh, race traders old. Up. Uh, wait a minute. Ah, yeah. Remember when we got death threats for making this song? Did I just read that right? Yeah, I did. Um, can someone please explain to me what in the hell I'm looking at? Uh, can I get an explanation as to why? They got death threats for making this song. Can someone please explain to me? Uh, I want to know why.
you know, BF looks like he's having a nice, t or he's enjoying his race, while GF looks like she's just enjoying a nice, uh, a nice race. She's just enjoying herself. GF just looks like she's just enjoying her time, like she's just contempt and happy. <coughs> Uh, let's see what we got for that. For V2 of this song, we were thinking of bringing in L, Luigi's Mansion's scrapped enemy, for a second section of the song. However, that would kill the whole feeling of the song, sadness and loneliness. Ooh, yeah. the uh, hanging boyfriend from the attic. I'm not sure why GF is looking at Luigi like that. And it's also a, uh, the theme for the uh, menu is, um, Welcome to the Mario Brothers song, but, uh, it's got some mix to it, I think. One day, Wario got caught up in the middle of the night and was very hungry. He went to the kitchen and get a midnight snack, but couldn't couldn't see very well. It was very dark. And instead of grabbing one of those star-shaped Christmas cookies, he accidentally ate a power star, turning him into a horrid floating head. <laughs>
nice song. I like it. Now the original apparition, my favorite. Uh, let's see. Do I can't get a head move as the body? Is he stupid? Anyways, uh, the first Wario Concept sprite was him in a common FNF sprite perspective. It's extremely weird to see nowadays, especially even more with the awesome upgrade in the B2. Now it's getting all red. I still got it. I still got it. Original power down. <coughs> Space to dodge, of course. Uh, the first name for power down was Innocence. And it was clearly changed because there was a lot of MX songs with the same name. Uh, the names for this game or for the song here were Bricker, Brick, Bricker, Big Jump, Eight Bit Error, and Hellock. And there's a Call Luigi, which I'm guessing is a bot mode.
It's a Mario time! It's a good time, Luigi! I do like that remix, though. When going back to the menu, I, I love that remix. Even just hearing a bit of it, it, it sounds really good. Uh, let's see the one for this. One day Marco wanted to do an I hate you mod because he never saw a good mod about the creepypasta. The rest is history. Yeah, you never really see any good mods about creepypastas. I mean, you already got one for Hypno. That's, that's by far amazing. You got one that has multiple other creepypastas, like Jeff the Killer, Slender Man, um... The one, have you seen this face before? I forgot what it was called. Um, the Mount Silver one. I think it was called Trepidations. Yeah, yeah, Trepidations. Um, the many Mario EXE, Mr. Rex, Sonic EXE. There were some good Sonic EXEs. I'll give it that. I will give it that. As for any others, not to my knowledge. Dead Mario's. Yeah, that that remix really hits. It, it's. I just don't know what to say. Uh, 
uh, let's see. One day, Marco just sent a concept for a Super Mario Land 2 song, and at the same time, he also suggested the new name of the mod, Mario's Madness. Remember, December 22nd is GB birthday. Game Boy? I want to say Game Boy, but I don't think it's Game Boy. I, I'm pretty sure it's someone else. There's someone brought of the team, maybe? I'm not sure. Someone let me know uh, what the... Uh, who's GB? Or what GB is. Someone let me know, please. GF just does not look amused. It's a me, Mario. Almost. The one. Then only, It's a Me V1. A song made by King Fox, art by Marco, and code by Duat. Genuinely, or er, genuinely? Or genuinely, I'm pretty sure. Uh, how did you guys like the teaser of this song so much? It was pretty good, in my opinion. I liked it.
Alright, that was legacy mode, now for the extra. That was already unbeatable. Original Act 1 All-Stars? Okay. Interesting. Let's take a look. Let's take a little look-see. <clears throat> uh, All-Stars was a song that took a, wa a whole year to finish? Before this, Omega and his buddies didn't even exist in the Act 2, and a blue and red Mario head appeared in their place. This version was even before Ultra M was inspired by Super Mario Odyssey and contained a super skinny version. Well, not super skinny, but a skinny version of Mario with his NES color palette. <laughs> Demise original. Uh, this version of the song was finished almost a week before V1's release. Damn. In August 2022, Kenny would start making a lot of changes to Demise, finishing in the song... Uh, that you can play in the overworld. That you do play. No overdue. Okay. And I saw Halibu, so I gotta get out of full screen after this. 
Everyone, the f this version of the song caused a member of the team to resign from working on the mod. Ellis, this is peak verdue. Yeah, this was peak Verdue. I don't know why people would think that this made someone leave the team. Alright, let's get it over with. Uh, let's see. No party. Old. It was an honor to have Joey, the Halibu creator, for helping in this song. But it was a shame that we had to scrap a whole DS bio recreation for this song. ATPX made an awesome work in this, but she was too busy and the code was getting so outdated that she just gave up on it. If you do want to check out the recreation, hold down control and press 4 in the main menu. Mmm. I do would like to see that. As long as I don't need to. Oh, yeah. Yep. You see what I mean? There is a nice uh, double screen. I don't know why it shows from my OBS. I just see one from my end on my screen, but OBS is showing two. I don't know why. I do not know why. It's weird. Maybe if I turned on that um, streamer thing.
let's try turning this on. Let's see how it is. Will it work? Oh, what the hell? Hold on, hold on, what the hell? Um... Screw it, screw it. Nah, no, no. I... What is with that double screen? Alright, I might as well just do this. Because I at least got to work this way. Sinner. Okay. I don't know why I can do full screen on this song, but if I wanted to do the original, uh, it, it won't let me. I have to have it in windowed. At least I'm able to play it like that. And last song, Dictator. We did what you said, Mario. The Kickstarter sucked. The team's done. Uh, let's see. The vibe of this song is so good that we thought it would be a shame to discard it. The game wasn't much more popular than it was good. Lot, it was good. Friend. You think I don't know about the merchandise? You tried to fuck me.
right, and that was the last song. And that is Kanakala here. Things have been just very impressive with how this mod was just completely done. I absolutely loved every single bit of it, start to finish. The team did an amazing job making this mod happen. Oh, man. But now I guess I can wait for Hypno version 3. That's gonna be a serious thing to wait for, for me. But this is also gonna call it here for now, everyone. If you would like to see more, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. So take care, everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out.